Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more War Thunder. And uh, this time, we are looking at the Hurricane Mark 1, the Hurricane Mark 2, and the Hurricane Mark 4. But uh, if you didn't see the last video, we, we covered the Spitfire, and I sort of explained what the series is about. But uh, today, we are going to be looking at the Hurricane very very famous right there next to the spitfire but uh gets under under uh, looked a little bit because of the spitfire but first a little bit of history so our story for the hurricane begins in 1934 and uh, the RAF knew in 1934 that biplanes were coming a bit obsolete they had biplanes in in their arsenal and from what they could see from other countries' developments, they knew that they needed a new fighter plane. Uh, the situation in Europe at the time was getting a little heated. They could see what was happening over in Germany, and they were getting a little bit worried. So they turned to Hawker, who was already working on the next generation of fighter planes. Um, and they went to them and said, the Air Ministry said, we need a new fighter plane, and... Hawker delivered. They delivered the Hurricane Mark I. After a few prototypes, the RAF finally got their first production Hurricane in 1936, just in time for the upcoming war against the Reich. In 1938, the first squadrons received the new fighter, and the first squadron to receive the Hurricane was Squadron 111. This was the RAF's first real modern fighter. Uh, you've got to remember the Spitfire was sort of still it was still it was around but it was still uh, they were holding it back. They didn't want to take it out just yet. It hadn't been tested enough. Uh, but the Hurricane was there and it was tested and it was ready to go against the Germans. At the outbreak of the war, four squadrons of Hurricanes were sent to France to aid in the defense and repel recons, fighters, bombers, all of that from the German side. Unfortunately, the Hurricanes saw the, the brute force of the, the German war machine in French airspace, and uh, they were going up against the Luftwaffe's finest planes and pilots. The Hurricane gave a good fight, but uh, it was just outgunned by the Luftwaffe's latest BF-109. Uh, it became clear that in it, they needed something else. By the end of 1940, the RAF had lost 386 Hurricanes in the defence of France. So it just goes to show the Hurricanes saw the most action. They, they were there, they were defending French airspace, but unfortunately they were just too outgunned. But that was not the end of the Hurricane. England still had a lot of Hurricanes and it still had a good role to play. The Hurricane aided in the defence of the Battle of Britain and uh, was overlooked by the Spitfire a little bit. The Hurricane did more fighting than the Spitfire ever did and it was sort of the backbone of the RAF. The Hurricanes made up for themselves in numbers. There was a lot more Hurricanes than there was Spitfires, and even though the Spitfire was a bit more of a better fighter up against the 109s and so on, the Hurricanes overwhelmed the Germans in the skies with numbers. Uh, this After the Battle of Britain, the Germans lost a lot of fighters, and so uh, the Hurricanes tended to uh, overwhelm the Germans quite a lot. The Hurricanes went into a bit more of a support role, um, after the Battle of Britain and they started being equipped with bombs and guns. We'll see that a bit later with the Mark IV. But uh, first we're going to talk about the specs and uh, what goes on under the hood of the Mark I. So the engine on the Hurricane was the Rolls-Royce Merlin Mark II and the later ones were then fitted with the Rolls-Royce Merlin Three. Again, one of the most beautiful sounds, the Merlin Mark II. The airframe and the wings were covered in a fabric, and uh, this meant that the Hurricane was easy to repair, unlike the Spitfire. The Spitfire was all aluminium, 
And so if it got a bullet hole in the Spitfire, it had to have all those aluminium panels replaced. When with the Hurricane, they could just slap some more fabric over the hole and it was good to go. So the Hurricane had a really good um, survival rate. It could be shot up and still fly. And uh, it was easy to repair, easy to get back out there into the fight. And that's why I say it is the backbone of the RAF. It just, it was a, it was a fighter, it was a brawler, and it was easy to repair, get back out there, and do the work. Unfortunately, because they were fabric, there wasn't much protection around the pilot or the fuel tanks. And the Hurricanes had a bit of a nasty reputation for catching fire and unfortunately killing the pilots because... If the fuel tank was ruptured, it would literally just leak into the uh, cockpit. And if that caught fire, if the guns maybe caught the fuel on fire, that was it. The whole thing was up in seconds. So yeah, the Hurricane had a bit of a bit of a nasty habit of catching fire. Just like the Spitfire, the Hurricane had eight guns, and it had uh, the 303 uh, Browning machine guns in the wings just like the Spitfire and this gave the Hurricane a bit of a, a deadly edge it could sustain fire and a lot and throw a lot of lead down range so that was a little brief history on the Hurricane Mark 1 if you want to learn more you can go online and find out a bit more a good program to watch is Guy Martin's Battle of Britain he talks about the, Spit, uh, the Hurricane a lot but uh, we are going to briefly look at the Mark II and the Mark IV next. Okay, so another Hurricane that you can get in War Thunder is the Hurricane Mark II. The Mark II started seeing action in late 1940, uh, but it had been realised that the Hurricane, in its current state, was just no match for the Germans. As a result, like I said, the Hurricane took a back seat and started becoming a plane that was used in more support roles. Uh, it was used in Burma and North Africa as uh, a support role. Uh, it was modified to take a number of different roles, um, such as carrying bombs and uh, being able to attack co convoys with its 40mm anti-tank guns. And uh, I have managed to get a few clips here of the Hurricane next to the Spitfire so you can sort of see the difference. The Spitfire was a lot more sleeker as you can see the Hurricane is a bit beefier, a bit bigger and uh, tends to be a bit more of a, a brawler, a bruiser. Uh, the Hurricane's nice and, uh, the, the Spitfire is nice and slick and speedy and uh, could keep up with the BF-109 and the other German fighters. So yeah the Hurricane unfortunately took that backseat support role uh, but it's okay because it's still played a big part in the war effort. I just wanted to touch upon that the Hurricane Mark II was equipped with two more guns in the wings, putting the total up to 12, and uh, that just gave the Mark II that extra edge it needed against the German fighters. We can also see that in-game they have represented the Hurricane's famous ability to take damage and still fly with that fabric sort of uh, coating and uh, these next clips just show that off I have taken quite a few hits to the wings and the airframe but the plane keeps flying not very well mind you but it's still out there still doing the business We'll quickly have a look at the Hurricane Mark IV next. As you can see, it has those anti-tank 40mm guns under the wings. Now, these 
40 millimeter guns weren't really are supposed to attack air targets even though in this clip I am attacking an air target but these were meant for attacking convoys supply lines and they could take out tanks trucks whatever um, with ease and especially later on in the war when the Germans didn't really have an air presence these could fly fairly safely without danger of getting in to a dogfight and they could basically just serve their purpose the guns in the wings were minus to two per wing so it had less armament and yeah by the time of the mark IV the Luftwaffe's presence in skies of Europe was sort of minimal and uh, as D-Day commenced and and D-Day Plus went on the Hurricanes could attack convoys, attack supply lines and uh, overall support the troops on the ground moving towards Germany um, and as you can see I am attacking some ground targets with the Hurricane Mark IV here. In game it is a uh, really good at attacking those ground units so if you like playing support this could be the plan for you but we are going to jump into a few live games i'm going to use the hurricane mark one and the hurricane mark two II and four and uh, we'll see how it goes okay we're here with the hurricane mark one this is the Mark 1 late. I'm not really too sure what class is it as a late. Maybe it got a different engine or something, but uh Yeah, the 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 Hurricane isn't as good as the Spitfire, unfortunately in this game. Um and in real life it was it never lived up to what the Spitfire could do. But um how you play the Hurricane is a little bit like the Spitfire. Sort of head away from the battle and uh, try and gain some height. But you've got to remember the Hurricane can't turn as well as the Spitfire. So we're looking to just drop on people quick. Now the Hurricane obviously can't turn as well as the Spitfire. But it still packs an absolute punch with 8 guns. Just like the Spitfire. But the airframe of the uh, Hurricane is much, much tougher than the Spitfire. This thing can take shots, lose a wing, and whatever, and still keep flying. This thing is proper tough. And we're coming in on this guy here. A little bit more difficult than the Spitfire to control, but we got that guy. And, uh... We've got some AI coming in now. But yeah, Hurricane, again, is quite a formidable force to deal with. Because we are in low tiers. We are in 2.7 at the moment. Um, the Sea Hurricanes get even more, even more troublesome. P40, Spitfire. I don't really want to fight that as there's not that many people there. So we're just going to... I'm just going to back off. AI is coming in now. We could take some of these out. Just uh, spin around. Take some of them out. But yeah, you don't want to be just running into fights. That Spitfire's on his own. He's turned back. You don't really want to be running into fights with the Hurricane. Uh, it is a bit weak. Even though it can take a lot, it is a bit weak against stuff like a Spitfire. Um, so you just want to pick your pick your fights, really. Critical hit. Get a bit closer. There we go. See that Spitfire's sort of dealt with a lot of people over there. So I kind of want to take it a bit slow. It's A thirty five B. We can go after. He's a bomber. So uh, that B thirty four is coming down fast. So at the moment we're sort of just playing out on the outskirts of the map, trying to take people 
out who are away from the main fighters uh, and that's obviously the best way to play the hurricane is just to uh, pick people off who don't sort of see you coming if I was to go full you know full send into a uh, into the fighters I'd get destroyed just because this thing you know can't really handle handle going up against it's not really a fighter this thing I mean in real life it it struggled to fight against Ooh, he's got some guns never attack a bomber from the back especially a jet oh he, he that was him that was on him I think he was uh too busy trying to kill me to notice he was too low but yeah the hurricane really struggled um with the defense of of sort of britain uh, against the you know the, the bf 109 and and other german fighters and then the spitfire came on deck and sort of changed the game for for britain but the hurricane still played an amazing role during world war ii it wasn't completely phased out by the Spitfire. It's just the Spitfire became the main fighter plane um, in the defense. And the Hurricane sort of became sort of like a support plane, sort of like a support role. Um, it would, you know, attack convoys, attack bombers that were, you know, maybe less armed. Uh, yeah, it would attack. Uh, attack soft skin targets carry bombs and uh we'll see with the uh if we if we end up dying in this we'll have a look at the hurricane mark 4 which has uh the cannons for ground targets i'm going to shot out as well i don't know if we're going to win this we can go after that mb but yeah, the Hurricane was just playing really a supportive role after the Spitfire came in. But it did well um, in the early parts of the war. It's just that German fighters tended to get a bit more advanced. There we go. And the MGs just ran out. 13 seconds. And yeah, this is how you play the Hurricane. Later Hurricanes in the tier tree, like the uh, Sea Hurricanes, have got really, really good cannons. They're really, uh, really a formidable force uh, to go against. And uh, if you are fighting against the Sea Hurricane, be prepared because they are immensely good with their with the cannons. But these early Hurricanes, just take it slow. You know, if I had some bombs or rockets I'd, I'd attack these this armored convoy but I can't really do much with uh, just guns so yeah just play the hurricane mark 1 slow here and, and the mark 2 as well the mark 2 hurricane isn't that good mark 4 hurricane uh, and in this um, sort of I don't know if we're going to get to see them in this game we will check them out next game and it's looking really good as well in these uh British, uh, British summer camo. I, I think it is, but um, yeah, the Mark II and the Mark IV again are not that great. They haven't got cannons. The Mark IV's got ground defense cannons on it, so you can attack ground units. Uh, you can you can attack the air units with them, but it's difficult. And I don't think we're going to win this one, unfortunately. We'll go after this AI IL two. But yeah, just play the uh, play the hurricane slow. You know, it's not it's not the Spitfire. It's not its older brother, or well, its younger brother, I should say, because the the Spitfire came out or into service after the hurricane. Ooh, almost. Hopefully that fuck wall finishes him. There we go. There's apparently a plane in front of us somewhere. Is he up high? Yeah. The one's behind us. I don't really want to get involved in this fight. That fucker kind of needs our help, though. 
if he pulled them back towards me. Let's get a bit closer. Yeah, I'm getting too deep. I'm getting too deep here. Oh, it was mission fail anyway. Okay, we are in another game. Whoa, that guy almost killed us. Spitfire Mark 1. How you doing, buddy? Our predecessor. Yeah, let's fly as a squad. Come on. Uh, we are in the Hurricane Mark 2 right now. And uh, as you can see, there are some improvements over the old Hurricane. Some, like, uh, air dam... Or not air dams. Um, ram air sort of ducks and we have some cannons on the front alright we're going to sort of turn in a little bit and uh, level off Ooh. level off here don't attack me buddy I'm not the enemy But yeah, Hurricane Mark II. Oh, we might dive on these guys down here. Come on, we're going to dive. We're going after these. The Mark II basically... Uh, that VF-110... Coming up. Critical. He's not getting away from this. I think he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say hurricane down there. That doe still taking off. We'll go after that. Hurricane Mark Two. Basically, just building on what the hurricane sort of laid out. Uh, I went over the hurricane in the previous clip. The Mark One. But yeah, Mark II basically just coming in and improving on it. Oh, he's been taken out. We've got a Hurricane down here and a BF-109. Two sort of... Well, we could probably take the Hurricane, but the BF-109, very formidable. Oh, yes, they took out that. So hopefully the Spitfire and I can take this 109. Very formidable force, the, the 109. Nah, we were coming in way too fast. Unfortunately, you can see that little sort of air air ram has extended to uh, slow us down a little bit. Now, we're not in a very good position right now, so I want to sort of go backwards and get some height because I don't like this position we're in. Yeah, that's exactly why. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to we're going to have... Oh, I need some help. I can't do this alone. Yeah, I can't do this alone. We need help. But as you can see, the hurricane can absolutely take a uh, a beating. We've got... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Spitfire's coming in with the clutch. Okay, I'll line you up, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, I didn't like that position we were in there. But uh, Spitfire came in with the clutch. But as you can see, we have a busted tail. Oh, BF-109. No, no, no. We're going to have to try and fight these guys off, I think. But we can't really turn as well as we, we were. So we're kind of sitting ducks here. Hoping he makes a mistake. Really slow. That's the problem now. So we can't turn very well. Pays out. Very nice. We might just have to fight these guys head on now. Which I don't really want to do. But as you can see, it can absolutely take a beating, the Hurricane. The airframe of it is super sturdy and we're still flying. You know, we've got holes everywhere. And, uh... Oh, these ships are firing at us now. We've got flak. That doesn't help. That Typhoon's a bit of a problem. Oh, dearie me collision. We got him though. I tried to pull up at the end. Uh, we're going to take 
Yeah, we're going to take the Hurricane Mark IV now, and you'll see the cannons on it. Like I said before, the Hurricane sort of went from being the main uh, sort of fighter in the RAF to being a support role, really. And uh, as you can see on the Mark IV here, they've took the guns away in the wings, and they've added these cannons. And this is sort of attacking convoys and stuff. It's not really a supposed to be going head to head with aircraft. And uh, this is what the uh, this is what the hurricane became is this sort of support role within the RAF. But the Spitfire sort of sort of did the job better. It uh it it basically the Spitfire took what the hurricane was doing and basically improved upon it and uh the variations of hurricanes after the spitfire came out was uh was sort of it sort of took on a new role of that support and it did it did support really well the hurricane i'm not bashing it for that now we shouldn't really be attacking this guy but if you play it right if you play these this one right, the Mark IV, you can there we go, you can attack it really well, and here we go we can attack this I thought we could, but I, I don't have I don't have the right ammunition I don't have the right ammunition in the cannons I think I've got air air targets loaded in the cannons But we've got plenty of soft skin targets up ahead. <laughs> yeah, we can attack some of these. Our cannons come back in 23. We're looking for sort of light skin targets, I think. Yeah, I think I've got the wrong ammunition in these cannons. I think I'm running air. Armoured car, we can definitely take one of them out. Oh, he's going for that one. You going to kill him? Still got some rounds in the cannons, which we can use up. <laughs> As you can see, when it directly hit that armored car, it um, it really screwed him up. And that's the thing; you've got to kind of time them right. There we go. There is some light armor down here, which we can attack. And we're just doing what the Mark IV Hurricane was made to do. Attack convoys and uh, give, it, give support. But I really do like the Hurricane in this, in this game if you're one of those players that plays the objective and likes to uh you know likes to go after bases because the hurricane can take um a, a load of bombs as well uh, we've got this guy to contend with and there's a mig 3 coming in as well cannons come back in 15 he's turned on us And we've got an air collision. <laughs> he shouldn't have come straight at us like that, but we should have turned away. But oh well. Uh, we'll take the Hurricane Mark One out, but I don't think we'll get much of a game as it's almost over. 
but yeah, that was the Hurricane Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 4. All the Hurricanes you can get in, in War Thunder. There is the Sea Hurricanes, but we'll cover them in another video.